Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the full history of Sunisa Lee, the 2020 Olympic all-around champion gymnast. Sunisa's story is one of incredible resilience and determination. She has overcome many challenges in her life, both personal and professional, to become one of the most successful gymnasts of all time. In this video, we'll take a look at Sunisa's early life, her rise to the top of the gymnastics world, and her Olympic triumph. We'll also talk about her ongoing career and her impact on the sport of gymnastics. Early life and family. She was born in St. Paul, Minnesota in 2003 to parents John Lee and Yves Thoge. Her parents are of Hmong descent, an ethnic group from Laos and China. They immigrated to the United States in the 1970s as refugees from the secret war in Laos. She grew up in a low-income neighborhood in St. Paul with her parents and five siblings three sisters, Evian, Cheyenne, Aubrey, and two brothers, Jonah, Noah. Her father was paralyzed from the chest down after falling off a ladder in 2019, right before the national championships. Despite this, he remained a major source of support and inspiration for Sunni's gymnastics career. She was homeschooled to accommodate her intense gymnastics training schedule, completing her high school education by 16. She started gymnastics at age six, her success as a junior secured her a spot as an alternate for the 2019 U.S. World Championship team. Though she didn't compete, this experience helped prepare her for the 2020 Olympics. Her standout performances on uneven bars during her junior career foreshadowed her future Olympic bronze medal on the event. She was admired for her difficult release moves on bars executed with clean lines and precision. Throughout her junior career, Suni Lee showed enormous potential, but was overshadowed by gymnasts like Biles. Her breakthrough would come as a senior leading up to the 2020 Olympics. As a young teenager, Suni Lee considered quitting gymnastics due to injuries, growth spurts, and typical pressures of puberty. But her coaches encouraged her to keep going. Her first major international assignment was the International Gymnics Meet in Canada in 2017 at age 13, where she won gold on bars and beam. In 2018, she competed at the City of Gesello Trophy in Italy winning silver on bars and bronze with the U.S. junior team. After recovering from ankle foot injuries in 2018, she returned to competitions in 2019 more polished and consistent. She had to learn to manage her injuries and multiple stress fractures in her back throughout her early career. Balancing rigorous training and homeschool academics was also challenging, with days starting at 5 a.m. As she gained experience, her performance quality, difficulty scores, and nerves improved significantly. Her 2019 World's Team alternate assignment was validation. She could compete with seniors at the elite level. Throughout her junior career, her trademark uneven bars routines stood out for their difficulty and original connections. Senior career. She made her senior debut at the US Classic in 2019, placing fourth all around and winning bars. This secured her a spot at the 2019 US National Championships. At 2019 Nationals, Suni Lee placed second all-around behind Simone Biles and was named to the U.S. Senior National Team. In early 2020, she competed at international assignments, including the Stuttgart World Cup and American Cup. She continued excelling on bars while improving her confidence and consistency. Later in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic caused cancellations and postponement of competitions, interrupting training and Olympic preparations. At the 2021 U.S. Classic, Suni Lee placed fourth all-around in her first competition in over a year, making some uncharacteristic mistakes. However, just a few weeks later at the 2021 U.S. Championships, Suni Lee finished second all-around and automatically qualified for the Tokyo Olympics team. At the Tokyo Olympics, Suni Lee stepped up in the team final after Biles withdrew. Her bars routine scored 50400 to help the U.S. win silver. In the all-around final, Suni Lee won gold with stunning performances, becoming the Olympic all-around champion. She also won bronze on bars, becoming the first Among American Olympian and Olympic gold medalist. After the Olympics, Lee competed at the 2021 World Championships before beginning her NCAA career at Auburn University. In early 2020, before the pandemic, Lee added a new incredibly difficult bars routine, including a risky Nabieva release move. This raised her start values and difficulty scores. When competitions resumed in 2021, Lee struggled with anxiety, less training time, and added pressure as an Olympic favorite. 
her coaches helped rebuild her confidence. At 2021 Nationals, her floor routine went viral for using music from Space Jam and the hoops integrated into her tumbling passes. In Tokyo, Lee performed all four events in the team final after Biles withdrew due to the twisties. This was critical in clinching the silver medal. Lee's all-around gold was historic as she edged Rebecca Andrade by 0.135 points. She performed brilliantly on bars and beam under immense pressure. After her Olympic triumph, Lee competed at the 2021 World Championships, helping the US win team gold. She also won silver on bars behind training partner Wei Xiaoyuan. Lee signed annual deals with brands like Athleta and Target and appeared on talk shows, becoming a mainstream celebrity after the Olympics. She is balancing training for 2024 Olympics while competing for Auburn University starting in 2022. Her goal is to compete Elitia through Paris 2024, NCAA. Lee signed with Auburn University in April 2021 and deferred her freshman year to compete at the Tokyo Olympics. She joined Auburn's gymnastics team in 2022 as one of the most high-profile college recruits in years, touted as Miss Auburn. She made her NCAA debut on January 7, 2022 at the Super 16 meet, competing only on bars and beam. She scored 9.950 on bars. In her first all-around competition on January 28, Lee scored 39.825 against LSU, including 9.95 on bars. Her first perfect 10 came on February 18th on bars against Kentucky. She scored two more tens on bars and beam later that season. Suni Lee helped lead Auburn to the NCAA Regional Finals in 2022, where they finished fourth behind Florida, Utah, and Minnesota. She won the SEC Balance Beam title with a 9.975 and was named SEC Freshman of the Year. Nationally, Suni Lee won individual NCAA titles on bars and beam. She placed fourth all around and second on floor at 2022 NCAA Nationals. Suni Lee ended her freshman year as the top bars worker in the country with eight perfect tens. Her bar routine is considered one of the most difficult and unique in NCAA public life and popular culture. She gained over a million Instagram followers after her Olympic performance, gaining massive popularity. She has signature gold eyeshadow and long acrylic nails that are iconic parts of her competition look. Suni Lee signed with major brands like Athleta, American Eagle, and Target for endorsement deals. She was a presenter at the 2021 MTV Video Music Awards and a guest on talk shows like The Today Show, Ellen, and more. In 2022, Lee was featured on Time Magazine's Time 100 Next List and Forbes' 30 Under 30 for sports. She voiced a character inspired by herself on an episode of Disney's Amphibia cartoon series. Suni Lee has been visible as a spokesperson for the Hmong American community, speaking up against anti-Asian hate. She made cameo appearances in Singer Pink's Cover Me in Sunshine music video and a Nike ad narrated by Naomi Osaka. Fans have praised her for showing off cellulite and stretch marks, promoting body positivity for athletes. Her memoirs, Suni Lee, My Story, and children's book Suni's Shine were released in 2022. Suni Lee is active on social media, giving fans a look into her life, gymnastics skills, style, and more through Instagram and TikTok. She has emerged as a pop culture icon for Asian Americans, gymnasts, Minnesotans, and more far beyond the world of sports, personal life and education. She was homeschooled growing up in order to accommodate her intensive gymnastics training schedule. She completed her high school education by age 16. Suni Lee was accepted to Auburn University and the University of Florida, but chose Auburn for their gymnastics program and support systems. She is studying kinesiology at Auburn and has said she may want to become a physical therapist or sports medicine doctor. Suni Lee remains very close with her large family, including her parents and five siblings. Her father John has been a major source of support. She is bilingual in English and Hmong. Her parents emphasized retaining their language and cultural roots. She dealt with injuries like ankle fractures, broken foot bones, and back issues through her early career. Lee has been open about struggling with anxiety, especially when returning to competition in 2021 after the pandemic break. She enjoys activities like fishing, hunting, riding, ATVs, painting, and more in her limited free time outside the gym. 
Lee dated college football player Jalen Smith for about a year before reportedly breaking up in mid-2022. She remains private about her dating life. She relies on her deep Christian faith to stay grounded amid challenges. She has Bible verses and prayers inked on her arm. Suni Lee continues to train elite skills along with her college gymnastics, hoping to make it to Paris 2024. Competitive skills. On uneven bars, Suni Lee excels thanks to her finesse, original connections, and difficult release moves like her Nabieva and Tkacha variations. Her trademark bars skills include her Maloney to Pak Salto, Van Leeuwen, and Lee to mixed grip release. She often scores over a 6.0 in difficulty. On balance beam, she performs incredibly solid, clean routines and excels at acrobatic skills like her aerial walkover to wolf jumps. On floor exercise, Suni Lee shows artistry and dynamism in her tumbling passes, which include her signature double-twisting double-back tuck. Her all-around program contains some of the most difficult skills across all four apparatuses. She's praised for her precision, flexibility, consistency, and difficulty. Suni Lee is not as strong in vault as the other events, but can still perform difficult vaults like the Cheng and Amanar. She has a more linear, elegant style compared to power gymnasts like Biles. Her mental composure under pressure is also considered one of her strengths. This was evident in Tokyo. Overall, Suni Lee's world-class execution, originality, consistency, and difficult skills make her stand out as one of the top US gymnasts. Filmography, television, Today Show, interviews in 2021, 2022, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, 2021, The Kelly Clarkson Show, 2021, Access Hollywood, 2021, Good Morning America, 2021, 2022, The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon, 2021, Dancing with the Stars, contestant in 2021, The Masked Singer, contestant in 2022, 60 Minutes, Profile Story in 2022, Films, Documentaries, Golden, the Journey of USA's Elite Gymnasts, Documentary, 2021. Athletics, Short Film, 2021. Gold, A Sunisa Lee Story, Documentary Short, 2022. Television Appearances, Presenter at MTV Video Music Awards, 2021. Amphibia, Animated Series, Voice Cameo as Herself, 2022. Uber Eats Commercial, Directed by John M. Chu, 2022. Nike Ad, Narrated by Naomi Osaka, 2022. Though her film and television appearances are still limited as she is early in her career, Suni Lee's stardom is rising quickly. With acting aspirations and mainstream fame, we can expect to see more of Lee on screens in the future beyond gymnastics. There you have it. The incredible journey of Suni Lee, gymnastics prodigy turned Olympic legend. Her grace under pressure, resilience through hardship, and boundary-breaking success make Suni's story unlike any other. At just 19 years old, it's clear this GOAT's gymnastics greatness is still just beginning. Suni Lee's triumphant underdog story represents everything we love about the inspiring magic of the Olympics. Thank you for watching this video about the full history of Suni Lee. We hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about gymnastics and other sports.